All right, first thing you want to do is delete the cube. You want to press one on the numpad to go to front view. You want to add a reference image, shift A, image reference. The link is in the description. It's Dodge Ram Van. And you, let's just hide that first thing. And then let's add a mesh circle. And go down here to this box. And we're going to change the number of vertices from 32 to 100. Let's rotate the circle on the x-axis, Rx90. Let's unhide the reference image. And let's scale the circle down. Let's move it over here. One of the important things about this to get this looking right is you want to make sure that, that these wheel well curves they end up with a smooth curve. That's the first thing we got to do here. So you got to press tab to go into edit mode and I'm going to move this up here G and I'm going to scale it in S. I'm going to scale it into the width of the wheel well thing here and zoom out a little bit. We're going to enable proportional editing. It's this target thing up here, the blue and white when it lights up and you enable it. And let's just select a one vertex up here at the top. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to press G to move and you see this big gray circle. That's the area of influence. It's way too big so you can make it smaller by rolling the middle mouse forward and you want to make it about the size of one of the van wheels maybe about there we've already pressed g so now all we have to do is just drag this down like this and we see what i'm doing i'm, I'm trying to line this up with the, the wheel well arch here okay so let me grab one over here press g and move this here like this maybe one here g like that and let's press a to select everything and that looks like it's lined up pretty well maybe you just move this one over here g move this over here a little bit and then we have to redo this one Press A. So that's pretty good. So now we want to delete the ones we don't want. So we delete all these bottom vertices and you just delete there. Let's zoom out. Press tab to go into object mode. And let's duplicate this. Shift D. Let's just move the duplicate over here to the front wheel well thing. Let's go up close. Uh, let's press tab to go into edit mode. Press A to select everything. And we're going to do the same thing here. And that's good. We just want to get rid of these, uh, these vertices here that are curving down. You just delete those. And you just select the last vertex that we have here. And since we have a straight line, all we have to do is press E to extrude and just drag it down like this. Let's zoom out and press tab to go back into object mode. We're going to hide the reference image and we're going to select both of the curves and we're going to join them. Control J to join them. Now they're one object. Let's uh, press tab to go back into edit mode. Now let's unhide the reference image. This vertex is selected. We want to keep that selected. And at this point, we can go up here and turn off proportional editing. So you click on there and it just toggles up. Okay, we're going to move this on the x-axis. We're going to extrude it actually. So go EX and extrude this over here. Okay, and then let's go up close. We're going to move it up, G, just move it up to here, and now let's press A to select everything. And this is good. You want So you want this vertex and this vertex, you want to select both of those. So the um, the last one on this wheel well and then the last one from the, the front wheel well here that we extruded. Select those and you want to press M and you want to merge that center. Okay, so now those are connected. Let's press A, select everything again, and we're going to go over here to, to this vertex. Okay, so this vertex over here has an important job. Okay, we're going to bring it all the way around the van here. Get the outline. You don't want to zoom in too much. You don't want to get too much detail either. That'll cause problems when you try to bevel. We're going to bevel this edge later. And so what you do is you extrude. We talked about extruding before. So you just press E and then you just drag it over and then you just left click and press E again and drag it up. And then drag it up here. Left click and then press E again. You don't want to go too fast because you might duplicate vertices. I'm just going to speed up the video. Okay, so now we're getting towards the end here. Let's press E. Okay, so let's just drag this all the way back over to here. And let's zoom in on that. Let's press A. And so here's these two here, the last one on this one, and then the last one here. So let's just select both, both of those and then just press M and merge its center. So now we have a complete circuit. Let's just hide the reference image again. Press A. We've got everything selected here. You want to put your cursor in the middle and press F to add a face. And then you want to press tab to go into object mode. And this is an important step. You want to hold control and press A and then apply all transforms. That's an important step. If you don't do that, you'll have problems later. Let's press tab to go back into edit mode. Let's hold control and press 3 on the numpad. And we're really going to like the front of the van here. And we're going to add a mirror modifier. And we're going to disable it on the x-axis, and we're going to enable it on the y-axis. And now I'm going to move this on the, on the y-axis, gy negative 0.7. And now you see that we have, it's mirrored now. And I'm going to go over here and enable clipping, just put a check mark there. Now I'm going to extrude over on the y-axis to the left. So you press EY and then just drag to the left like this. So now we have a solid band here. Okay, let's press 2 on the keyboard to go to edge select. You want to select the bottom of the front bumper, and then you want to hold control and shift, hold those down, and then you want to select the top edge of the band here, and then you want to do the same thing, control shift, and then go down here to the bottom of the back bumper like this. Now, now you can see this whole edge is selected. So we're going to bevel this. So what you do is you hold control and press B and then just drag, and that bevels it like this. Okay, now sometimes you'll have, it'll bevel in kind of a strange way. I'm going to show you an example of what happens when, when you have duplicate vertices along the edge that you're trying to bevel and how it can mess up the beveling. So here we go. I'm going to bevel it, hold control, press B, and then just do this. And you can see up here that this is not beveling properly. It's not going down. I don't know about here. I may have beveled it too much there. Let's see, control B, let's drag it out here. See, that's better. Okay, but this one you see is still not beveling properly. Okay, so the, the way to deal with this is, let's back up. 
go into let's just go into wireframe view and then press one to go into vertex select and this is the offending area here this is where you have the duplicates so what you want to do is you want to select those there and you want to press m and then you want to merge at center so now there's only one there let's go back into solid view press two to go back into edge select and then let's just select those edges again and now let's bevel it hold control press b and let's bevel and now you see that it bevels properly Yeah, let's go to the bottom view, hold control press 7 on the numpad. Okay, now let's press 3 on the keyboard to go to face select. And, and this is a little bit difficult here because uh, these, these faces are small here. Select this face here. You want to select that, and then you want to hold control and shift, and then you want to select this one here in the middle. And you see it selected all those. Then you want to do it again. Again, hold control and shift, and then just select this box here, and that selects all of those. And what we're going to do is going to delete those. Delete faces. Delete those faces. And then there's this face in the middle here. Delete that face. Okay, so now we've carved out the band. So let's go to front view and then let's press A to select everything. And now we're going to give this a material. So go down here to material properties and then go to new. And then where it says base color, click on the yellow dot. And we're going to go here to image texture. Click on there. And then we're going to go open. And what we're going to do is the, the image texture is actually going to be the same image we use for the reference image. The dodge ram band. And let's press Z. Let's go to material preview here. And what we have to do now is Open up a new window here and change it from 3D viewport to UV editor. And then we're going to go down here to the 3D viewport. Remember, we're in edit mode. And we're going to click on this UV and this box comes up. And then you're going to select project from view. Okay, and then you'll see this uh, outline of the van here. Then just, just move this to the middle here, up here. And let's just scale it up and try to line it up with the image. You don't want it to be larger than the image because then it's going to start grabbing the trees and stuff. The colors of the trees and pattern of the tree. So let's see. See how this looks. we got to turn this. This looks pretty good. It looks like there's a little bit of white there on the front window. It's a little bit difficult to not have that on there. But anyway, I'm going to press tab to go in object mode. So that looks pretty good. So now let's first want to go to front view. And what I'm going to do is move this up a little bit. I'm going to add a cylinder. So shift a mesh cylinder. I'm going to rotate it on the x-axis rx90. I'm going to scale it down s.28. And I'm going to move it over here. And then I'm going to go to the front of the van. Hold control press 3 on the notepad. And I'm going to scale this in on the y-axis sy.3. And then I'm going to move it over on the, the y-axis, GY. Just move it over here to about there. And let's go to front view one. And what we're going to do is uh, let's press Z4 to go into wireframe view and then unhide the reference image. And let me go here and just line it up with the reference image, G, line it up like this. With, this, with the wheel, it's a little bit hard to see the wheel, but that, that's about right there. Let's go back into my uh, material preview. And we need to give this that same material. So we don't need to go through this again and press new and add that. We can just go up here to this arrow right next to the new and, and next to the material thing. And this material 0 0.001, that's the, the image texture. That's the dodge ram. So just select that and it gives it to the wheel. Okay, and then we're going to press tab to go into edit mode. And then we're going to go up here to UV again. And then the box comes up again. You're going to select project from view. Okay, and then here it is up here. You got to press A. Okay, and then we're going to move it. G, move it over here to do this. Let me make this bigger again. And let me move this over, zoom in. And what we're going to do is we're going to scale this up. S, scale it up like this. It's okay to have it a little bit smaller than the wheel. You don't want it bigger than the wheel. Let's move this G, and you want to center it so the circle's right in the middle. Make it scale it up a little bit more. Let's move this up again. Let's just zoom in on this, and I can hide the reference so there's not. All right, let's press 2 on the keyboard to go to Edge Select. And then you want to select this edge. You want to put the cursor over here, hold down Alt, and then just left click, and that selects this edge. We're going to add a bevel, hold Control, press B, and then drag, and add, add a bevel right here. And then you want to you want to select the inner circle here, again, Alt, and then left click, and we're going to inset this, press I to inset, and we're going to drag this up like this. And then I'm going to inset it again, press I, and then we're going to drag it up about halfway between this and this thing. And then I'm going to do it again, I, and then we're going to just have it right right on top of this. And you want to select that le second to last one, hold down Alt, left click, and you want to move this in on the Y axis, G, Y, move it in like that, and press that. So now we have a nice shape to the wheel. Go to front view one, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this, Shift D, I'm going to move it on the X axis over here. And then I'm going to turn like this. And this is selected. Let's shift select that first wheel. And then let's shift select the van. And now watch this. We're going to join. Hold control press J. That makes it so we have four wheels because it gives the mirror modifier to the wheels. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.